Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Programming with a Purpose. So you have decided you want to become an iOS developer. If you are confused about this thing, you can go visit and watch my previous video which I am attaching here. So you have the Apple devices, you have the testing device, you have the development machine. So what's next? So if you do not have the testing machine, you can start working on Xcode with the simulator which is great for testing a lot of functionalities apart from some of the functionalities like uh, the hardware such as camera and lidar and few other functionalities will not work if you are not going to test your code on a regular I ios device like iphone or watch or your ipad so you can buy it later on you have the mac now go to app store inside mac and search for xcode if it's not previously installed it is going to be there you can install it from there otherwise go to updates and update your xcode with the latest version do not install betas and alphas because you will not want the program to crash or cause certain problems so the latest build update it and now once it's updated it is going to take some time depending upon your internet speed because the downloads are going to be big once xcode is downloaded download the simulators by going uh, through the drop down on the top which is used to play the uh, code inside simulator i'm going to show you in a while so these are the steps you have the xcode now now you are going to launch it and run a first default program which is a hello world program and there are certain technologies in which you can write a hello world program in swift using storyboard or using swift ui i'm going to show you the swift ui method because uh, ui kit is a bit complicated and you can basically learn it later on depending upon you require it in your future projects or not so basically this is how we are going to set up the project you have seen that i've set different properties here in the ide xcode is a great ide as compared to a lot of other ids that i've worked on android studio is also good but i found xcode much better as compared to android studio I've also worked on Unity platform as well as in Visual Studio and I can bet on this ID Xcode. It is pretty stable with this build. I'm using Xcode 16. And here you have seen that on the right hand side a preview is shown which is also quite fast. I'm using the MacBook Pro here and you have seen that the output is displayed there everything is a view inside swift ui there is also a video i have done which shows you basically which technology to learn first i am also going to attach the link here so this is the content view and here we are going to basically select the simulator in which we are going to run you can also select the device if it's connected from the drop down here and there are some other settings which are going to use when you are going to build this app into an ipa or upload it to app store so this is how we are going to play it it is going to be played inside a simulator we have selected the iphone 15 pro simulator here the simulator is also quite good and you can test a lot of features inside the simulator Here I am showing you some quick features inside the Xcode. You can obviously watch detailed videos to understand and get basically familiar with this IDE. So here I am basically creating a breakpoint and the breakpoint can be created even after running the app inside simulator. You do not need to basically rebuild it. You can create breakpoints on the run. So here on the bottom side of the window, you can see here that this is how we are stepping through the code and a window is shown which is going to show you the all of the values of the variable just like a watch window and on the right hand side on the bottom is basically the console so this is just the basic debugging now you can also create a playground which is a simple file that you can use to play around with different kinds of code here so you can create a blank file a game a map and a single view so here I'm creating a blank file. So this name already exists. I'm going to rename it. And then I'm going to show you how you can write a simple line of Swift code there. You can follow all of my Swift tutorials which are at the beginner level. 
to advance concepts using this playground. I have also created all of these tutorials using playground. I am going to attach the link of the playlist in this video as well as in the description box. So this is, you can see here at the bottom, there is a console and on the right hand side it is going to show the value of the variables. So we have created a simple variable greeting and we have assigned it a string value of hello playground and here we are printing this value. So I'm just showing you here the basic steps you need to require or different phases you are going to go through to become a pro iOS developer. So you can see here on the right hand side and on the bottom the outputs are displayed. So this is how the playground is working inside the Xcode. You can save this file anywhere and then you can obviously open it and play around with the code and create your raw logics here as well even if you are developing a complete application. Once you have got a hang of the syntax and a basic basically know how of Swift and Swift UI, start building applications. Start with a countdown timer, a simple calculator, a tic-tac-toe, a simple game or a simple weather app with, that uses an API. And after that you can go to this website Code Mentor. I am not associated with this website in any way but it has some great resources to get started to learn any language. You are going to select Swift projects and you can basically go through the description of each of the project. Start with an easy level and try medium and hard problems as well. I basically recommend you to do one problem from each set of difficulty level and once you are done with it, it means that you are basically at the beginner level when you have done the easy and medium problem. Now you are going to proceed further. It is going to show you all of the steps to build a project and it is going to also help you there. There is a discussion board for each of the problem but the discussion board for this basically app is not quite helpful it has like absurd comments i think there is no regulation for comments here you can ignore this section if it does not facilitate you into becoming a better developer and then there are solutions as well you can explore the solutions here next learn about github what it is how the control flow works how you can add basically your code to it and how you are going to maintain versions it is very simple to use i will also create a simple video over it how to, you can add your existing code to github so this is a link i'm going to post in the description box it is showing you according to a certain technology which is webfx but you are going to use it for xcode so basically after that create your profile create a lot of github projects and make it public so that your clients can basically access them and create a blog post or a website where you can showcase your skills and start applying for freelancing jobs on platforms like Upwork Freelancer and start with the jobs that require little to no effort like small bug fixes that are going to build your confidence as well as you are going to explore a variety of codes good and bad both and you are going to learn that how easy and difficult it is to fix bugs in a code that is written badly and a code that is written in a good way so with that we are going to our next point which is basically writing a structured code and start learning architectures and start applying it like MVVM, MVC and Viper and also start applying advanced concepts such as concurrency to improve your code basically start working on the code optimization and organization and also start learning about how to create different kind of tests inside your application. So when you reach that point, you'll be able to start applying for full-time roles, but start with least expected salary so that you'll be able to gain some confidence inside the iOS development field and start building your own apps. If you do not get a job, like it, it is taking some time, start learning and keep building your own apps and start uploading them on iOS store. So maybe you can become an entrepreneur and you do not need to basically dive direct into the job market. So after that, when you are comfortable with all of this, start practice exercising on websites like Codility, HackerRank and LeetCode and go through these websites, understand how they work. These are basically the websites that are used by majority of the companies to filter talent. So you can go through all of these websites in your free time and start basically doing the practice exercises and then start doing the timed questions. These are going to build your um, algorithmic skills on the top of Swift.
so basically you will get comfortable with the language you will get comfortable with the syntax and you will be able to solve problems in a quicker manner before going for any job practice some of the problems on these websites i'm showing you all of these websites here also i'm going to post the link of these websites in the description box so you can do this even before applying for job interviews or along with that process and you are going to observe that it has drastically improved your confidence as well as your problem solving skills on the top of swift so once you are at this point start learning about human interface guidelines published by apple on this website here you are going to see that how you are going to build up what rules you are going to follow for different type of devices if you do not follow these rules most of the time apple is going to give you an error while you have uploaded your app on the app store and it is not going to be approved but usually people know about these guidelines that are designing your user interface like the designers ui ux designers they know about these guidelines but if even if you are confused and you want to build that app go to that kind of app you are building suppose you are building a game or you are building a finance app find apps that are similar to your app and follow the layout that they are following this is usually basically done by a lot of designers as well uh, or you can basically study in depth the user interface guidelines here so wwdc is the conference that is held annually by apple and it is usually live apple is going to basically present all of the development updates for the developers on their website as well as now on their youtube channel you are going to learn all about the new ios version as well as the new uh, basically os and swift versions and xcode versions that they are going to release on this conference and also there is going to be a special event at apple park that you can attend physically if you want to go it is basically closed for this wwdc 24 so this is a very important event and not to be missed by any person who is going to make his or her career in ios development and last but not least keep building your skills update yourself with new tools and technologies specifically the ml and ai side that is introduced by apple and improved upon each year in wwdc also you can change some of the steps according to your needs and desires to carve out your own unique path in the learning of ios development do let me know in the comment section how you have built your path or how you plan to build yourself as an ios developer or what challenges you have faced do not forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel thanks for tuning in